Hello world, my name is Tim Russick and welcome back to another daily game dev video. Today we're talking about some shit going down on Steam. There's some shit going down and I want to share it with you. Uh, if you don't know, there's a thing that's been going around recently. It's been going on Twitter. Uh, people have been talking about it, but basically it's the idea that if you release a game that's free on Steam, you call it a prologue. It's basically a demo. You release a free demo on Steam and then you do this thing where you put a you put a wish list to the full game. Steam gives you an epic shit ton of traffic uh, for free when you launch a game, right? They give you a bunch of traffic, but you're getting all that traffic to a free demo, and then people are wish listing your game, and uh, with the implication that wish lists uh, turn into sales and. It's getting kind of out of hand. Uh, this came to my attention by a tweet by uh, Simon Carlos, uh, which I saw earlier this week, uh, which I'm going to talk about. But it's getting kind of crazy because right now we've got one, two, three of of these games taking advantage of this uh, loophole on Steam, and they've all got like this game's got it's got two different games that it's wish listing, um, and it's it's interesting to see how quickly this just kind of went crazy because now all of these games are are doing this and what's interesting even more is that steam has a demo uh option where you can add a demo to your game but it doesn't um according to some tweets by mike rose it doesn't really um uh, affect your uh visibility it actually decreases your visibility in some ways and it usually shows up over here in the corner or something it doesn't show up even just like this uh this does right here with nice little overlay um but steam <laughs> there's some concern right now that steam's turning into like the app store because now we're getting all these low quality half-baked prologues uh demos basically just rushing for the wild west to get the traffic uh to get wishlist on their game and uh trying to do it before steam bans it now there's there's this thread on reddit that I was looking at a while back, and they were talking about how, not a while back, it was four days ago, but they had over 16,000 wish lists, and they got 300 and some, 360 sales or something like that. Uh, and they basically linked how they did this, 357 copies of their game. And uh, they're trying to go through all the different uh, things that went wrong, but uh, Jake Burkett, one of the guys that came up with the... Um, the formula to estimate game sales from uh, wishlist numbers. Um, Jake and Simon both started talking about how not all wishlists are the same. And in this article by Simon, uh, he talks basically about that, that like Steam prologues have gone crazy and it's kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, like everybody's freaking out over this because you're getting a lot of wishlists. But these people, look at how easy it is to wishlist, right? I just like, oh, there's a demo. Okay, boom, uh, play game, uh, wish list, boom. Like these people are not really interested people. Where normally when someone adds adds your game to a wish list, they are very, very interested. And, and I think there's a lot going on. I think the UI design of this, how this is bright green and it's got a good button, just like the play game versus add to wish list. I think that's part of it. I think there's a lot going on here. Uh, just the pure amount of traffic that Steam gives you. I think that's an epic shit ton of... Uh, of, of things like that too but um it's interesting when you see something like this like okay some uh, there's a loophole in the system then people exploit the system and then it goes crazy and then what's end up, ultimately going to end up happening we all know this is like steam's going to crack down on this and it's going to get worse for everybody because people abuse the system uh and it sucks it sucks to see and what sucks worse is that people think that this is like marketing and in a lot of cases maybe and maybe you know maybe i'm wrong about this but in a lot of cases these are not high quality wish lists these are not even interested parties in most cases it's kind of like it's kind of like saying oh well our conversion rate is three percent so i'm gonna buy a bunch of traffic from some foreign country and send it to our website so that three percent of them convert no different traffic sources convert differently and they convert to sales differently and it's it's just fascinating to watch this stuff go down. Not going to lie, I considered doing it. I considered doing it for Battle Barn Tactics because I could whip out a demo uh, pretty quick. And uh, all you got to do is pay an extra 100 bucks to get your, your demo there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, though. I really don't. I don't, I don't know if these are interested quality people wishlisting games. But I, there is a kind of mad rush to do it right now. And I think it just comes down to 
Steam's broken system of when you launch a game, you get X amount of traffic, but when you put up a demo, you don't get nearly that much traffic. So if you can pay a hundred dollars to, to get this demo seen by a bunch of people that can also wishlist your game. Uh, and on top of that, have, have a much more visible button. This add to wishlist button is way more visible or, or this, uh, Add to wishlist button here is more visible than this one here. Uh, it's just like way more like, you know, uh, eye grabbing. Uh, but I don't know. It's a lot of problems with Steam, a lot of problems with stuff. But, you know, I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was interesting. And I've been watching this go down on Twitter and I've been watching this go down around the Internet. So um, enjoy. <laughs> I want to thank these people right here. They help me keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, thank you for being part of Patreon. If you want your name on this list, you can head over to patreon.com slash underground. Uh, help me make videos every single day of the week. Uh, you want to build, finish, and launch better games? There's a lot of cool stuff there, too. Help you do that. My name is Tim Roswick, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.